Hey guys, happy weekend everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about how I find explosive monthly setups using the TrendSpider platform. Most of you know I am a proud affiliate and friend of the TrendSpider guys, Jake and Dan. Great people, great traders, great service. So if you like what you see today, uh, do me a favor, use my affiliate link, and I will be more than happy to share with you the scans that I have already created. So you don't even have to do any of the work. You just have to tell it what to scan for. So first things first, I feel like people overwhelm themselves by trading and trying to scan for too many things. I have a watch list of about 60 to 65 names, and this is all I scan for. So on the sidebar here, anything that you see with the word strat is a scan that I have made. Honestly, what we're going to focus on today is just pivot machine guns. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to my pinned tweet. Um, I have a Google Doc, and in there is a list of every video I've ever made. There's like 35 of them or something. So um, on in May, I made a pivot machine gun video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you might want to watch that. They're probably only 15 minutes long. And then I made a trading with full time frame continuity and using multiple time frame analysis to enter your trade and to lessen your risk. Like I said, on the right side, the sidebar, this is my Pivot Machine Gun monthly scanner, and it populates a little list. It only populated four for me for this month. So what a Pivot Machine Gun is, is it's five or more consecutive lower highs on your desired time frame. So I scan for these. Now, preferably, I want, I would have wanted it to take out a, an obvious pivot low. This is not something that I want to trade, but let's look at CGC. Seven consecutive lower highs. CGC is probably also heading for 1283. So I want to look for reversals that are going to trigger the last month's previous high. So TRIP is the only good looking candidate right now. So here you have trip. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven consecutive lower highs. And this is great too because we made a lower low in September compared to August by just a smidge. Not even like 20 cents. So that's a good thing. That means we have um, seller exhaustion. So we made a new low, but we didn't go anywhere. So this is something that I want to be long. And then per the pivot, you know, machine gun uh, strategy, you know what your targets are. So this is something that I want to be long when we break 3760. Back to the multiple time frame analysis. This is when I will want to see and wait for reversals to enter on a weekly time frame. So I might want, you know, another two down before getting a two up and entering. It's so easy, you guys. Just look for consecutive lower highs. And I already told you I've got the scanner. I will give it to you. I am very diligent about anybody who has signed up under my affiliate name. I just tag me. I will DM you and I will give you all the scans that I have, which there's probably like 20. But uh, it's for all different time frames: the 60, the daily, the monthly, the weekly. And then same thing for if you prefer to play short. Look for the pivot machine gun to the short side. And again, you're just looking for consecutive higher lows. It's just the opposite. And then you would put your alert once this pattern breaks. So if dash breaks 189, you'd want to be short. That's target one, target two, target three. Again, watch the pivot machine gun video. Datadog, <clears throat> this is another one 
we're at all time highs, we're at exhaustion risk. We are basically at the top of a broadening formation. So that's when you could call it exhaustion risk and you can look for a reversal to the downside. Snow, so you got Tesla did just trigger up on the quarterly, but you've got one, two, three, four, five. If they start selling it this month, you're going to be looking for maybe a higher low on the monthly. But yeah, do you see how easy this is? This is all I do. So anytime, let's go back to the long side because most people are long biased players. So anytime the price is above 37.60, I want to be long. You can be looking for strat reversals back into the direction of full time frame continuity, which would be to the upside. You can use the weekly time frame or the daily. So I will link everything that you'll need if you want me to share my scanners. They have a seven day free trial. Um, the scanners work on the lowest tier. Trendspider has three a three tier platform. Um, but the lowest works just fine. I also have a 25% off code. So whatever you sign up with, you can get 25% off. See how simple it is? I just scan my little world of 65 tickers. And like I said, it is more than enough to keep me busy. And if you like to scan a certain sector, you can, they let you pick what you might want to scan for, whether it's the NASDAQ, the S&P, you can pick sectors, you can scan whatever you want. But for me, like I said, I just find it easier, more consistent if I only focus on my list. Anyway, this is literally it. It's all I do. You're, if you're playing the monthly time frame you're playing the monthly time frame, meaning you have all month to go after your targets. You have all month to re-enter on reversals back to the upside. You can add, play however you want. Okay, I'm gonna sign off. Bye guys.